episode of Hooked on Cooking. Today I have a very special guest here. I've been promising you this guest for weeks. He's the Arrowheadite that I've been promising you. So let's get him into the kitchen. Hey Jack, Jack, Jack Daly, where are you? Oh, Jack. Hey. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> what are we making today, Jack? Today we'll be making the schluff tort. It's a... Uh... Okay. Okay, we're in the kitchen, and what's the first thing we do, Jack? Well, first we gotta wash our hands. Exactly. We always wash our hands on my show. And anybody in the kitchen, go ahead. Step right in. Anybody in the kitchen should be washing their hands. Very important with soap, right? Yeah. We don't want to germs. spread our germs. Germs, yeah. right. Okay, and if you take note, here's the paper towel, Jack. Thank you. Both Jack and I are wearing aprons because we always wear aprons on my show, too. All right, here we go, Jack. What are we making again? We're making a schluff tort. Schluff. Can you spell that for me? Probably not, but I, <laughs> but I can try. Um, S-C-H-U-L-F. <laughs> schluff. Boy, we got to get the L in there. L-U-F-F, -F -F, maybe. Schluff. Who invented this? Um, my grandma, Nancy. She just invented it. Well, she's a pretty good cook. So oh, really? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, um, whose side of the family is she on? She is my dad's mom. Your dad's mom, so she's the daily. Yeah. No. Yeah, her last no. name is daily. Well, that's her husband's name. Yeah, her last name is... Do you know? Nelson. Nelson, good thing, because sometimes we don't know enough about our grandparents. It's good that you know that, Jack. All right, let's go. Okay. Jack daily has got the perfect name to be famous, so this is his road to stardom right now. Whoops. Starting him off. Actually, okay. he plays guitar. He's better at that, maybe, huh? Well, I'm good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I like that attitude, Jack. Okay. What do we do? So first off, we got to take six egg whites. Egg whites. Okay. Just, just the whites, not the yolk. And the yolk is the yellow part of the egg, and the whites would be the non-yellow part of the egg. Okay. So we got to separate those. Now, Jack showed me here that we have an egg separator, but I told him that I was going to show him how to separate eggs without an egg separator. And you show me how to use an egg separator, because I don't know. Okay. All right? Um, so I'll go first okay. with my, see what I know how to do. Now if I remember, it's, oh geez, <laughs> I did a bad job. There we go. You kind of like zip that back and forth, right? Yeah. There we go. I just missed early on. So we're going to be short a little of the egg white. Is that all right? I guess so. Oh, we don't have a choice, do we? Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so much for my egg. Uh, Experience here. That's how mine went when I tried that. Really? I just missed in the beginning. Don't okay. Go ahead. So for this one, hold that or something. Okay. Hold that. Oh, I see. And then it all drains through. That is so much easier. <laughs> and then shake it a little bit and it all comes out. That looks Okay. So Crack another one. I think we'll do it like that now. Yeah, I think so too. Otherwise, we won't have very many cookies or whatever this is. Yeah. It's not a cookie, it's a big cookie. Yeah, that's how you make it. It's like a big cookie that you cut up. Yeah. Look at that, that's forming a Y. <laughs> this is disgusting. This is why I make things only with whole legs. Do I have to get it all out again? No, that's fine. Good enough? Yeah. Okay, we'll just dump those in there. All righty. So, your grandma's from Norway. How about your your grandpa. My grandpa is from Hungary, Russia, uh, Germany, all those countries over there. Um, Czechoslovakia, I want to say. Really? Yeah. So you guys, you told me before you're mutts? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm a mutt too. Really. Where are you from? I'm from Italy, France, um, Dutch, and Irish. I'm only four. My mom's mainly Irish. Mainly Irish? Yeah. Okay, that wasn't what my dad was. All right. And my dad would be proud of me because he loved to cook. He's no longer with us, God rest his soul. 
but he was a great cook, and he's probably watching you right now. And he's probably disgusted with what I did with that egg in the first thing. <laughs> but that's all right. He's not here to yell at me. <laughs> all right. Then we have to mix a fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay. Just in here somewhere. Yeah. I already mixed the salt in with the sugar. The salt just, and the sugar. Right. Okay. Just so you know, it's only a fourth a teaspoon of salt when you make this recipe. Just that much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Kind of salt. And then we got to mix that together using a mixer. It's always better to mix with hand, but that takes a really long time. So. Really? Mix. You mix this with hand? Yeah, otherwise? that's, that's yeah. how we did it. Okay. Well, let's bring this over by you. Okay. And hope this bowl. I'm gonna wash my hands again while you're getting ready because they're okay. sticky from the egg. And I'll also wash off that counter. Okay. okay. Jack is in my speech class, and he volunteered to do this along, like, with Robert Chien. I can't say it. Chiruso. Yeah. Ooh, I had it down when Robert was here. And so I really appreciate these guys coming out and cooking with me. It's great. Okay, All right, here sure. we go. Blend it up. Oh, I too much. That's okay. I know. These are little bowls, huh? Yeah. When I was cooking, we had a big bowl at our house. So. It's tough when we're on location and we don't have the... Uh, the proper equipment. In fact, I'm going to send a part of this episode to Rachel Ray because, Rachel, we need some funding for our show somehow. Our cameras are going, our tripods are crooked. We don't even have microphones that are ours. We have to borrow them, and then we have mishaps with that. So it'd be great if we could get some funding for the show. What do you think? That'd be wonderful. Yeah. Maybe we could even get Rachel Ray to come on the show. You can see that the eggs. <laughs> Jack has no comment on that. No. Oh, I don't know who she is. You don't so. even know who she is? No. Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> okay, so, so... So they're puffing up pretty big. Now they're getting a lot of small bubbles in there. Yeah. So that's about right. It takes, okay. a real, it takes like 10 minutes to do it by hand. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay. You can actually get it that way by hand? Yeah. Really? Okay. And that's then nice. that's a bigger bowl, so that's the one we're going to use. All right. Okay, so now... Um, I should have done a better job wiping that up. Yeah, we still got some egg on the table. Yeah. They say don't end up with egg all over your face. Don't end up with it on the table either. It's sticky. You know, I can see why when somebody eggs your car, yeah, this is very bad. It sticks, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Don't get any ideas out there. I never did that as a kid. Go ahead, get it again. I think we had our house site. You did? Yeah. Were they after you? No, just after our house, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just after a house. You never know. Yeah. Okay. What's next, Jack? Okay, so now we have to take our egg mixture and put it into the bigger bowl. Okay. It's really pretty airy. Mm -hmm. And then um, while we're mixing it with the beater, we're going to slowly add the sugar just really slowly over the time and it'll start puffing up. Okay. Pretty big. So, so you want to beat and I'll add? Sure. Okay. Do it that way because okay. you've got the beater down. Tell me if I'm going too fast. I'm too far away. Oh, we're too far away. And what's this going to do then? Well, this Make is going to give it a more of a flavor, like sugar. Does it thicken it up too? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Oh, am I going too fast? Yeah, that was a little too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the place where my students can criticize me. So, see, that should drag a lot of you on the show. It's your opportunity. It's a fun time. Yeah. It's your opportunity. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I don't care. I can take criticism of that. Okay. I can. I'm good at it. So just speak up. I don't have much to criticize about right now, though. Okay, well, that's good, because this isn't really too tough. Yeah, <laughs> corn sugar. Yeah. This isn't really too tough. I'm not big on the baking stuff. I don't usually bake, so yeah. this is interesting to me because it's not my area. Is your grandma a good baker? Yeah, she is. Okay. She, she lives close? Does she live nearby? She lives in Waukesha. Oh, okay. That's not too far away. 
I had a student named Cheryl Nelson years ago. Not related? Um, no, not that I know of. I think she was an only child. Yes, she was. My grandma? Oh, no. Oh. Cheryl. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're talking about two, <laughs> two, different, two people. different people. Okay. All right. We just keep mixing this. And that was two gets... cups of sugar. Yeah, two cups of sugar and our six egg whites and our salt. Good. That gets pretty creamy. Yeah, it actually looks good. When he brought this recipe to me, I was like, what is this? It looks like it's going to be nothing. But. Well, it's mainly air. Yeah, it's like yeah. eating air. Yeah. Except for that it's got a lot more calories than air. Do you know what the Definitely. calories are in this? How much? I don't know, I'm asking you. Oh, no, not at all. See? It's... That thing again, nobody cares about calories. I say this on every show. What are the three things I say, Chris, on every show? Three things. Hello. <laughs> oh, wear the, the apron, wash your hands, and the calories. Yep. On every show. So that's looking pretty good. Yeah? Pretty smooth. Okay, good. Woo! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this is a man in the kitchen. <laughs> and then, you know what? They usually walk away and let the woman clean Just, it up. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. You can, <laughs> yeah, you take care of that. All right. Okay, um, so we just stirred that. Um, well, if you do it by hand, it should take about 15 minutes. Okay. And so that's how it used to be done, but now we have nice speedy stuff. Jack, you got some egg on your face. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We're real cooking. You don't want to end up with egg all over your face. That's yeah. what they said, I told you. <laughs> okay, and um, be on high speed. for. That's what we just did. Okay, okay and um, now we should... Everything else? Okay, so it's going to take vinegar and vanilla, I guess. So the vinegar okay. is the part that gets me. Do you know what that's for? No, not at all. I'm really wondering. <laughs> what? Can we call your grandma? Um, let's play I, millionaire. Let's, that's our one phone call. Okay. Grandma, what's the vinegar this for? Is Jack. Hey, we're making the schluff part right now. The shot. Okay. And, um, we were wondering, what's the vinegar? What's the vinegar for? Oh, I love, I love you too. Okay, fine. So the vinegar is for the sour taste, but that's why we don't use too much because then it'd be too yeah, sour. From your grandma about the vinegar? Yeah. We can go for it. Okay. Um. So now we have to do more mixing, even more. Add the last couple ingredients: the baking powder, the vanilla, and the vinegar. And what do we have to put in first? Does it matter? Well, I really don't think so. I okay. Mean, just mixing them. All right. Well, let's go with the baking powder first. How about? Okay. And yeah, mixer. she gave you like a long explanation. She was really chatting your little. Ear she's off a, she's there. a good chatter. Is she a good chatter? Yeah. She likes to chat. Okay. okay. And the other ones are so that was a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and we've got a full teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. That's going to sweeten it. And then this is going to make it sour. A huh? little bit, yeah. A little bit. Because she said without the sour, it would kind of taste a little bit weird, like too not sour. Too not sour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then let's start mixing this. All right. Gives it a little color. A little bit. But otherwise, it's the jelly on the top, I'm going to assume, that's going to give it some color. That gives it the flavor, too. Oh, and the flavor. So it's, it's a double bonus. OK. It looks, well, if you can see a picture later, we'll show you. It looks really, like, almost like marshmallows, don't you think? Yeah. It's it kind even of looks like kind liquid of, marshmallows. Yeah, liquid marshmallow, like gooey, sticky liquid marshmallow. Very I was going to lift it up again and show. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good idea. Did you ever make anything in a blender and take the top off by accident? Oh, yeah. I, did, I did that in here. We were making uh, Orange Julius, and while it was still running, I pulled it off. And I bet your cooking teacher loved you. She did. <laughs> <laughs> did you take it for fun, or...? Yeah, an yeah. extra elective. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, was it fun? Yeah, along yeah. the class. Oh, that's great. You could take it up at Northgate, do like a, 
advanced foods. Yeah, they do and like culinary. Yeah, culinary. That see now if I could go back backwards in time, that's what I would do. Culinary. Yep. I'm taking culinary senior year. Really? So Oh well, that's good. I was gonna take advanced foods next year, but I'm trying to get as many classes that I absolutely need out of the way. So senior year is open for electives. Good for you. Good for you. You got it all planned out. Yeah. What are you gonna do in real life? Um this is not real life. Yeah, this this is my plan <laughs> of real life. I wanna be a musician in my real life. And a woods man shop guy. Like a construction guy. Construction guy. Okay. Stuff like that. Both at the same time. You could do that. You can do that, yeah. really, you could. Musician at night, you know, going out and playing gigs, and then during the day, Cutting hammering away and wood. sawing away and yeah, whatever. That's good. I think we've got enough mixing. Is that mixing. good? Enough mixing. I guess so. Okay. Good. He learns from his mistakes. <laughs> yeah. You can, like, kind of pound it on the side of the bowl. Yeah. Okay. All right, just maybe stick that in the sink. I love this. Ooh. Watch this. I'm going to taste it. Cool! <laughs> Where'd you learn that? Well, it was right when I was testing it, right before the show. I was like, and then I pressed the button thinking it would stop it, but they shot out and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Jack. All okay. Right. So now. I don't want to encourage any kind of vandalism in here, please. <laughs> so, you know. All right, okay. what's next? So now we got to butter the pans. Pans right here. Oh, a little spray. Yeah, a little spray in action. Okay. No stickage. We don't want stickage. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Now we need um, something like a knife for a spatula. Okay. What do we got? I know we have them somewhere. That might work. Okay. Yeah. This little one too, just in yeah. case. Okay. I guess so. Okay. Now you take the oh, true shield. Yep. That's, what it, That's looks like. what it looks like. It's pretty creamy. Yeah, it, it looks is. like a marshmallow. And it tastes very good too, by the way. It's very surprising when you think like all these materials of nothing. And it right. looks pretty creamy. Right. That's why when he gave me the recipe, I was like, what are we making? <laughs> That's what I thought too when I was yeah. making it. <laughs> okay, so then you slowly pour it. Oh, you pour it all? Pretty much. And then it spreads out. Well, it doesn't spread out, it kind of stays where you put it. But like do that with it. You gotta make it flat like that? Yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Okay, it's not for this tray. Okay. So you know what, you could make this in any shape you wanted if you were making it for. Yeah, just about. Yeah. We'll try a circle on that one. Okay. <laughs> See if we can get it to go. Okay. All right. It looks like you're frosting a cake with no cake. I know, doesn't yeah. it? And it, that's just kind of like the texture of it, too. It's kind of sticky, like frosting. Okay. And then my grandma to give it the texture. She always goes like this to it, just like. Oh, she swirls it up, just like yeah. frosting. Like, can you make little wounds? Yeah, I guess so. I'll throw some back right there. Okay. Yeah, just, just wipes it around. Kinda. Okay. Okay, and then. Let's do another pan. Oh, 275. Oh, let me preheat the oven to what did you say? We're preheating the oven to 275. Okay. And oh yeah, here it goes. There we go. Up there. Okay. Get that going. Oh, it's gonna come off the pan. We gotta be careful here. That'd be fun. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to promise the cooking ladies that this room is clean by the moment. I'm up for a minute. won't let us cook here anymore. That's right. Since Notice Jack, he's not licking his fingers while he's cooking. Isn't that great? Someone else licking their fingers? Well, you know how people do that when yeah. they're cooking and they don't tell anyone. And then they... And then people eat it. Yeah, people eat it. And I bet you they do that at restaurants. I just worry about that. Yeah. It makes me sick. <laughs> you know, like they probably lick the spatula like this yeah. and then go right back in there with it. <laughs> Gross. I'm not going to use this again. Okay. Oh, but this is good. This would be something where little kids could lick the bowl. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now we cook it? Oh, or the yeah. jelly goes on later. I'm going to yeah. take it. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get it in the oven here. Okay. Slide. Oh. How about one half? You put yours, like, underneath. 
There. Should we should we make it higher? Is that okay if it's that low to the thing? We can just check it. What do you want to do? What do you think? I would I want it both on the center, but if we do that on the bottom one, I think that'd be okay if we just pull that one out a little earlier. Pull it up uh, out a little bit earlier? Yeah. Okay, because I don't think they're both gonna fit. Do you? No. Alright. Alright, we'll close it up. Okay. And we will be back as soon as uh, the what is? The schluff tort. The schluff tort is finished. And we are back and we're ah, oh. and they're ready. Okay. All right, perfect time, Jack. Turn that off. All right, we'll pull it out. You close up the oven. And this is what the finished product looks like before we do what now? We're going to put some jelly on it. Okay. The jelly can be really any flavor. Raspberry, strawberry. I like red stuff. Okay. I brought raspberry. I like raspberry. Actually, I really like cherry. That's my favorite. But this is what I had, so it's what I brought. Okay. All right, then, so go ahead and show me how. Okay, you can just... Do you like put it all over or do you decorate or what do you do? Well, you can do whatever you want. Like, what part are we going to eat? Like, this half? We can just do a little okay. bit of jelly saviors. Pick a half. Okay, let's do that half. That okay. Pretty good. Okay. And just like that. Scrape that around a little bit. Okay. You don't want to waste all your materials. <laughs> That's okay. Jelly's cheap. Yeah. Jelly's pretty cheap, really, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you got raspberry too. Cause you like raspberry? Raspberry and strawberry, those two. Okay, that's good. And then what do you, you know? This would be something that you probably have in the morning with your coffee. Yeah, or probably. We we, with, we usually have it at dinner because that's when we go over to her house sometimes. Okay. So. so she serves it with after the dinner that she yeah, has. What does like she make dessert. for dinner? What's her best meal? Um, ham. I like the ham she makes, but she makes uh. Killer green beans with like the onions on top. Oh, okay. The oh, onions and the soup, soup and the, yeah, okay. I, when I was planning to do this with her, I, I was like, well, what should I make, like family wise? Like, what do we have? And I, I was like, I really like those green beans. And my mom was like, don't do that. That takes five minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So instead, he picked the one that takes an hour to cook. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Beautiful. So now we can just cut it. It's pretty crispy when you cut it. Like, okay, let me hold. I'll just hold it with oh, yeah. this. I was going to grab it. Yeah, okay. it might still be hot. Can you grab the other end? Yeah. And then oh. you can hear it when it crisps. You could probably use a pizza cutter to roll that right sounds this. like a crunchy cookie. Oh! Yeah, it breaks like a cookie too. It does. Look at here. That's how we ate it too. We just kind of broke it off. Cut place. it right in there again. Try to pull it. Totally cooking with a boy. Can you tell? <laughs> oh, I licked it. Now I can't touch it. There you it. go. Okay. Well, that's awfully large, Jack. Okay. Can um, you cut it in half again? Sure. Okay. And then we're going to have a bite together on the show because we always do that. Oh, it's kind of sticky. What do you think? All right, Chris, you want to come in and have a bite with us? Sure. All right. We always bring the cameraman in at the okay. end. That's the fourth thing that I was at. Oh, he'll eat more. <laughs> oh, you want the whole thing? <laughs> He's hungry. Okay. He's a boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's try Grandma Nancy uh, Daily. Nancy Daily Schluff's Tort. Schluff's Tort. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's another good recipe. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. I'd agree so. Mm -hmm. Is this how it normally tastes? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Then he did it right. <laughs> That's all we care. Grandma, he did it right. All right, thanks for joining us on another episode of Hooked on Cooking, and we'll see you next week with our very special guest. Have a good evening. Thank you.